the Food and Drug Administration authorized booster shots for Moderna and Johnson & Johnson's COVID-19 vaccines Wednesday, and said fully vaccinated people can mix and match by taking a booster shot from any drug maker, but eligibility for extra doses depends on the vaccine. The FDA was largely expected to approve booster shots for Moderna and Johnson & Johnson, after the agency's independent advisory board voted to recommend extra doses for both vaccines last week. The federal government is pushing to get boosters to fully inoculated people amid concerns the vaccines, which are still highly effective at staving off hospitalizations and death, could wane in effectiveness over time. Some experts have also suggested certain patients might benefit from taking an additional dose from a different drug maker. One study last week found people who initially took Johnson & Johnson's vaccine had more antibodies if they took a Pfizer or Moderna booster than if they took an additional dose. The availability of these authorized boosters is important for continued protection against COVID-19 disease, Dr. Janet Woodcock, the FDA's acting commissioner, said in a statement. The FDA could eventually broaden eligibility for Pfizer and Moderna's booster shots. Federal officials are weighing allowing all Americans ages 40 and older to take an extra dose next month, The Washington Post reported Wednesday, citing unnamed sources, shortly after the FDA approved Pfizer booster shots for seniors and high-risk adults last month, Dr. Anthony Fauci, the federal government's top infectious disease expert, said he expects regulators to review data on efficacy for younger people soon. This is not the end of the story, he told CN. That's how many Americans have taken an extra vaccine dose so far, according to the CDC. The numbers could include people who became eligible for Pfizer boosters last month, and certain immunocompromised people who were made eligible for extra Pfizer or Moderna shots in August. The World Health Organization has urged wealthy countries to hold off on administering booster shots to people who aren't immunocompromised until at least next year. The agency argues COVID-19 vaccine supplies are needed for the millions of at-risk people worldwide many of whom live in poorer countries, who still haven't received their first dose. Drug regulators in affluent places like the United States, European Union, United Kingdom and Israel largely haven't heeded this plea, 